Hello, in this session, we will look at how you can uh, declare the root module and then how we can call the uh, root module within the child module. So we'll just look at the uh, code uh, snippet. We won't be looking at an example in this session. We will look at the example in the upcoming sessions. Now we know that your module is a container for multiple resources that are used together, right? So basically module is bas uh, simply uh, making your code reusable. So every Terraform configuration has at least one module and we call that as your root module. Now this root module, it will consist of the resources defined in the .tf files within the main working directory, for example, here. So any directory that consists of your .tf files, we call that as your root module now a module can call other modules which lets you include the child modules resources into the configuration in a concise way that means i can call this tf files in another module to create the resources for me instead of having to write uh, uh, everything from the scratch now modules can be used multiple times uh, either within the same configuration or in separate configurations allowing resource configurations to be packaged and reused now how do you declare the root module so every terraform configuration has at least one module known as a root module which consists of the resources defined in the .tf files in the main working directory so we'll be maintaining one working directory and within that working directory we will be having all the .tf files so let's say backend.tf locals.tf main.tf, variables.tf, terraform.tf, vars, your provider.tf. So all of this will be within one single directory and we will call this as your root module. So you can use any directory you want and you just have to maintain all the tf files within that single directory and we call that as your root module. Right now, how do you call this module? Now, before we go there, so here if you look at this backend.tf, so we have the backend as to where the state file should be stored. Then I have the locals.tf for my uh, tags. Then I have the main.tf where the resources will be created. So in this case, uh, I'm launching an EC2 instance, I'm creating a security group, and I'm creating an S3 bucket. So basically, uh, four resources because I'm launching two EC2 instances. And then I have the provider where my provider is defined. Then I have the terraform.tfrs where my variable values are defined. And then I have the variables uh, where I have defined all my variables. Now, uh, every time I want to create these resources, so instead of having to write this code again and again and again, I can simply call this root module to create these resources for me. All right. So that's where we have your calling a child module. So to call a module means to include the contents of that module into the configuration with specific values for its input variable. So calling a child module is nothing but calling this uh, configuration files that we have, calling these configuration files in a separate configuration with our customized variable values, right? So modules uh, are called from within other modules using the module block so we will be creating a separate configuration file in a separate directory um, which will contain this module block all right so this is how we call the root module and uh, here is the path where the root module is present so let's say for example here if you see so now this is my child module that i have created and in the main.tf file if you see we are making use of your module block we are giving it a local name and then the source. Now, this is very important because this is what Terraform uses to read your existing configuration. Now, in my case, if you say I've given a local path, that is a server path. So we will see an example for this later on, but this is where the root module will be available. And then we will have to pass the input variables. So whatever the variables that is defined in this root module, we will have to pass those and also we will have to pass the respective values so here uh, i have defined all the variables and then the values for this i have it over here now if you look at this child module i have not defined my resource block anywhere now the resource block will be used from this root module so whatever the resources we are creating in this root module 
the same will be reused. So I don't have to write these resource blocks once again. I'm going to reuse this resource block by making use of this module block. So this is how we can call the root module to execute uh, or to basically reusing the code. All right. So like I said, we will be looking at an example for this in the upcoming uh, sessions, but this is how we can uh, define the root module. And then here we can define the child module to call the root module and create the resources for us. So a module that includes a module block is called uh, is the calling module of the child module. So here if you see now this is the child module that we are creating. So basically we are calling a module block. Now the label immediately after the module keyword is the local name which is uh, calling the module and we can use this to refer this module instance anywhere we want in the configuration file. So this becomes your module local name. And then uh, within the curly braces here, we have the arguments that we can pass. So here source, we have servers. We will be talking more about your arguments in the upcoming sessions. But this is generally how we define your child module to call the root module and create the resources for us. So we make use of the module block. We give it a local name and then your source and your input variables that needs to be used when calling this module. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.